this video we are going to learn about hurricanes. Hurricanes, we're going to learn some fascinating facts about these forces of nature. Let's start here. What is a hurricane? Huh, what is a hurricane? Well, a hurricane is a fast-moving storm system that brings heavy winds and rain. Hurricanes go by different names depending on where in the world they happen. For example, in the Atlantic and the Northeast Pacific, these storm systems go by the common name hurricanes. In the Northwest Pacific, near Asia, these storm systems are called typhoons. Typhoons. There's no difference between typhoons and hurricanes except for their location. And then, in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, these storm systems are called tropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones. Now, these are all referring to the same thing, they just have different names depending on where in the world they happen, but for the rest of this video, we're going to simply call these fast-moving storms hurricanes. Now, we mentioned earlier that hurricanes are fast, the winds are so fast, they move quickly, but just how fast are hurricanes? Well, hurricanes are so fast that they move faster than cheetahs. And cheetahs are the fastest moving land animals in the world. In fact, hurricanes can move as quickly as 75 miles per hour or even faster. This is what makes hurricanes so dangerous, is they move so quickly. I mean, 75 miles per hour are even faster. That is insane. I mean, look what the winds are doing to these trees. In addition to being fast moving, hurricanes can also be really huge. Here is a hurricane as seen from the International Space Station. Now here is an interesting fact. There is actually an area in the hurricane where things can be relatively calm. In the middle of a hurricane is an area called the eye of the hurricane. The eye of the hurricane. And it almost looks like a little eyeball right in the middle of the hurricane, doesn't it? The eye of the hurricane can actually be a calm place because the winds are swirling around it, but the winds are not right in the middle. Even though it can be relatively calm to be in the eye of the hurricane, it's not good to be there because the wind is the fastest around the eye of the hurricane and hurricanes are always moving. So if you are in the eye of the hurricane, that means pretty soon the winds around the eye are going to run into you and that's not good. Unfortunately, because hurricanes are so powerful, they can do a lot of damage. Just look at what a hurricane did to these buildings. Hurricanes can do a lot of damage, not just to trees, but to buildings. Even buildings that look really strong can fall apart in a hurricane. Hurricanes can also cause flooding because the rain doesn't have anywhere to go. There's so much rain and it just builds up causing flooding. Now here's the good news. We aren't surprised by hurricanes. We know what causes them, the warm air, the warm water, and we know when they form because there are lots of tools that let us know. This means we can prepare for hurricanes to make sure everyone stays as safe as they possibly can. Here's two tips to help you stay safe. First, stay indoors during a hurricane. It's no time to be outside when a hurricane is happening. 
The second tip is to always follow evacuation orders. There are people called emergency managers that track the progress of a hurricane. If it looks like things are going to be too dangerous for people, they have people evacuate the area. That means to leave for their safety. There you go, hurricanes, massive storm systems that bring a lot of wind and a lot of rain. We hope you enjoyed these facts, and I think I'm lost, and why do I have my shopping cart with me?